all at different levels. All at, we got Yoda Cage on top. Mm -hmm. Then you have like Terra Boy, who's like, like Terra Boy Philly, and Sweshy. He? What? He's not Philly. He's New York. He's he's in school in Philly, so we okay. claim him for a little okay. bit. He's yeah, those colleges Philly. are uh, very interesting because like, for example, we have mm -hmm. Yellow from Kansas, yep. but like he's half Bay, half Kansas. It's very odd. Mm -hmm. uh, but when we have schools in session we have five bowser juniors and five ddds so if you ever want to learn a mid-tier matchup everybody just come to philly <laughs> philly just like tosses everything at you like do you know this do you know this yep it, our top five are all character specialists which is really funny it's like bowser jr mega man pokemon trainer joker and i'm Meta so Knight. glad i don't oh, live in pokemon philly Jr. yeah no you wouldn't want to live there oh goose fancy okay pulling out the pt i know a little bit about pt uh do i date dare say so myself i do know this matchup is mm -hmm. unfavorable for pt but what matchup is unfavorable for wolf if we're being honest not a whole lot admittedly <laughs> right and already you know just like occupying the ground goose just making it really difficult for goose fancy to get a whole lot started um they're just looking to set up these jungles but of course when you're going up against wolf that is combo food especially as for little up tilt and for it is galore but really difficult to kind of contest with some of wolf's just uh disjoints yeah for sure goose fancy so far they're doing a really good job of keeping out the squirtle for as long as possible going for mm -hmm. the typical back air off the ledge you can see this a lot happening great grab though it's always super important to get these water guns off the stage because the more you can make wolf uncomfortable yeah. off ledge kind of like that wolf's recovery isn't as good as everybody says it is i mean it mm -hmm. doesn't go too far so something like that nice read on the down smash though by ruse you gotta watch out for it gonna stick with the squirtle even though it's at 100 percent that's kind of scary especially on squirtle yeah you could be you could die to anything <laughs> at this point, right? An F tilted down, smash an F smash, whatever you may so please. But now an Ivy Sword, when you got somebody stuck in a corner or off stage, Ivy Sword is gonna be your best friend. Just trying to call out some kind of a jump. Uh, lose, you know what, just playing grounded in the right places. But all, all those tether cancels, everybody's getting so tricky. Yeah. It's funny because every PT player I see do a different type of tether cancel, whether mm -hmm. they will like swing all the way from the bottom and go all the way up, or they'll do a really quick one that mm -hmm. Goose Fancy just did. But good on Ruse to use that wolf up smash. It scoops just like Lynx, believe it or not. Sometimes you're just, you feel like you're so much further than it, but great parry by Goose Fancy here. They can really take something, but I feel like Ivysaur is a better edge guarder versus the Spaces than Squirtle is, unless you get that jab lock, but I'm not seeing it now. I am so surprised Squirtle's Squirtle did not connect it was just like a little bit too low, but yeah, you can't be missing those. Excellent F smash from uh, Goose Fancy. And just like that, that's a two to one stock lead, a confident one at that, only at 24%. And as soon as you get that throw, as soon as you get that F tilt, that squiggle, I mean, look look at the damage that you can put on. At that point though, when you're that close to the edge of the stage, you don't really have the privilege of uh, calling them out too much with down it, right? You can't really go through your loop. So good on Goose for recognizing that and DIing and holding out. Yeah, very true. Squirtle here putting in a lot of work, but there comes that neutral air. I feel like Wolf's neutral air is one of the best combo breakers that we have in Smash mm -hmm. Ultimate. It's so, so good. So many dish joints on it. Uh, but so far, Goose is going to keep their space really well. I really want to see the Charizard come out. I'm, I usually like to base like how much I like a Pokemon trainer based off of how much they yep. use all three Pokemon. But so far, the Squirtle's working. And I mean, we saw that missed tech earlier from Ruse and it worked out. But I feel like Goose Fancy stays on the Squirtle for as long as possible. Yeah, we haven't seen Charizard a single time. <laughs> and again, keeps on going back up with these tether cancels. Luz has not find, found like a way to be able to consistently punish that quite yet. And that side V is going to be able to take it. You cannot get caught sleeping up against Wolf. You know the position where they want something funny. You know when they want to hit you with that early kill. But now at 143%, that F tilt more than enough to be able to do it. Really, really good stuff to, uh, to uh, Goose Fancy. Yeah, for sure. It's very interesting to watch a PT like I have a lot of experience watching Beast who really utilizes Charizard completely in mm -hmm. most kind of situations. And then you see someone like Goose Fancy who really yep. just brings out Charizard for the really quick confirm saying, all right, get out of the Pokeball, you know, Nair, F tilt, done. Like, and that's all that we saw Charizard game one. Yep. Not a bad game from Ruse though at all. I just feel like uh, mm -hmm. maybe a little less fair, a little bit more like Nair engage maybe coming down, but got to take out that Squirtle as quickly as possible. Yeah, Goose Fancy was al also like able to convert like every single stray hit into so much more Look damage. At that. Look what at was that, that hitbox? <laughs> what was that? Where did that connect from? That's like Link up smash. I, I tell people all the time like. 
that wolf up smash is deceptively big. You just gotta hold that. Wow. <laughs> okay. But yeah, either way, we're gonna be going to Kalos. I think this is gonna be a bit of an interesting stage choice. Obviously, like Wolf now has like access to maybe some more recovery mix-ups where sometimes his recovery is really limited. Again, DI'ing out to be able to avoid those squirtle combos. I would like to see Luz maybe go through some more up airs instead of the down air loops, right? Yeah. Just to be able to compensate for that, because those you can up air fast fall land and then just be able uh, to continue the pressure. But either way, when you got them stuck in a corner like this, what can you do? Yeah, this is another thing I wanted to bring up. We saw that Goose Fancy is very able to do and utilize a lot of Squirtle's like consistent just onslaught of pain. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're seeing it now. So taking Squirtle to a stage where they have all of this like kind of horizontal room to just go around and tech chase you may not be the strongest hit in terms of stage, but of course it may just be oh. comfort, but that's just a jump read. Not much else to commentate on that one. Wolves <laughs> like to jump from ledge. They, they have all of that air speed and man, do they love abusing it. So if you just sit there and wait, and yeah. like even if you don't react perfectly on time, if you got a big enough hitbox like Ivy Soil, and there it is again, all of those tether cancels. Goose has not yeah. found an answer to those at all. Goose Fancy is exploiting it to no end, and why not if it's getting you off ledge every single time? There's that hair coming down, can't find anything. Yeah, these tether cancels are really fast. I'm really enjoying them because, once again, they're doing such a great job of mixing them up, trying to go for the up smash there. I think on Kalos especially now would definitely hit, but let's see what Luz can find. We gotta find oh some goodness. of these back airs. These back airs would definitely take care of the issue, but Charizard is out, and Charizard loves a fast faller at this percent, so maybe a down tilt could prop him up mm -hmm. into something. Up smash may actually do it as well. Well, you could just like whiff up there in front of Wolf's shield and still have enough time to be able to get a jab out. Now that's a Wolf offstage against Charizard. Does not find the F-Tilt to him that time around, but it's off Line, baby, and you can react to both roll and neutral getup and get up attack and cover it all with up smash because that's Charizard. So you gotta you gotta really mix them up to get past that point. Very interesting how Ruse was struggling with the Squirtle all day, and I saw kind of like that standoff in the center of the stage. It was like ah, I don't want to go yep. in versus Charizard, which is very odd because you know we haven't really seen much of Ruse fancy Charizard except for the kind of the stock taker here cool. going for the hardcore F smash read there. Can't say you know I super agree, but here comes the forward throw into the F tilt. Okay. Now, this game is a lot closer than, you know, what it's kind of signaling out to be. One wolf back air, especially on a stage like mm -hmm. Kalos, may do it. But once again, Squirtle has this space to keep getting these combos. Luz is also, like, jumping in front of Goose Fancy's face a lot. You really need to abuse the fact that Pokemon Trainer really does not have the best air speed at all. Yeah. So you got to jump in from, like, greater distances to be able to get that against them. But when you're in oh. the face, you're just going to get called out so, so often. Goose Fancy almost covered there the other is. side. That's a jab block that might be able to kill. And yes, it will. Goose Fancy with a dominant 2-0. <laughs> and Goose <laughs> Fancy's boys crowd. popping off in the back. <laughs> Listen, that's the best part about a major. You... It, it doesn't matter at that point, like, what is going on, maybe, like, in the interpersonal, like, conversations inside of your region. When you're here all together, you guys are a cohesive this back reason. Is. Yeah, let's talk about it. This back here was not hitting anybody. This was this was like this was like a really Circle big commitment Dara for everybody at home. Yeah. Uh, so basically, the hitbox, everybody. Not sure if you know this. What? No. Uh, really, the biggest thing. Like, I feel like at some point, Goose was like really looking for a kill, right? And the best way to kill with Wolf is back here. So why yeah. not naturally go for that kind of thing? Um, but this was so like telegraphed to the point that Goose Fancy was just able to sit there, plant their feet, and wait yep. menacingly. Very they true. weren't moving. They weren't jumping. So Goose Fancy sat there and was just like able to find the kill as a result. Very good. And then, of course, one, two. Pop. Pop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just I, Squirtle just like completely unemotional through it, too. He like doesn't have like any sign.